Hinge 2-1 loss here tonight, uh, today against Bishop Storford in the league. Thoughts on the game? Um, it was a really, really disappointing performance. Um, you know, the crowd have come out in the numbers again and a wet, soggy day and we've done nowhere near enough to entertain them, to be honest. Didn't create nowhere near enough chances. Um, we want to play a certain way, we want to be expensive in our position, but our position, when, you know, I think I counted it about 15 times, where we're unopposed and we give the ball away. If you want to be a team that's going to play this way and you're so expensive, you can't give it away as often as we did. And um, you know, full credit to them. I thought they, their shape was excellent. They got into their two backs of four and made it difficult for us. Um, but ultimately, we've come up against that a few times this year. And um, you know, all our focus on is us and us being better. And we've got to find a way of being better than we were today. From where I was, it, look, it looked a pretty even game, especially in the first half, and then I thought you controlled the second half, and it, it almost caught you on the break, unexpected in the second half. Yeah, um, like, like I say, um, we just tweaked one or two things at half-time, just got our centre halves a little bit higher. Um, and I think it did help us, and we did get, create a bit of momentum. Uh, you know, it seems to be going that way. We seem to get the fans behind us a little bit more and create a bit of momentum going that way. And um, Yeah, we possibly need to score earlier than we did, but... You know, disappointed, I think yeah, we've got to deal with the corner coming in. Um, it's weak, weak goal to concede. Um, whether it's a foul on the keeper or not, I think it's going to be stronger. Um, I think we've got to get more pressure on the ball to stop it going out for a corner in the first place. Uh, and then the second one could happen, especially the way we were today. We were expensive and you know, one loose pass is going to end up in the back of our net. But you know, with us playing the way we do, uh, we've got to back ourselves to be better on the ball and there was just not enough of us at it for whatever reason to it. Like you said in the past, we need positive positivity around the club and in the grand scheme of things, you look at the table, we're still in a strong position. Yeah, um, you know, I, I won't focus too much on the table, but I'll focus on this one result. Uh, and it, it hurts, we've got back-to-back -back defeats now. Um, it hasn't happened too many times this season. Um, you know, since I've come back, really, you know, that was what done us so well last year whenever we defeated uh, got a defeat we responded well uh, with a win uh, and a big performance and you know, we haven't happened to do that so it's down to us now Tuesday to make sure that we're, we're at it and we're better than we were today. Like you say we go to Merston on Tuesday what have we learned from today that we can take into Tuesday? Um, yeah I think um, yeah, it'll be another tough test uh, ultimately you know just, just said to the lads in there we can go two ways about it we can um, get compact and get the ball forward or we can keep playing and believing in ourselves this way but ultimately find a way of being better on the ball and keep um, not turning over the ball as often as what we did. Like I say, we're so expensive, we've got our full backs like right up high uh, and then we sent them a field play, drops in and gives away the ball and then it's always going to be a tough afternoon but um, yeah, like I say, we need to be, look at being better on the ball ultimately. Thanks, see you Tuesday. Cheers.